But Mungo is not an Aboriginal name. Mungo is a Scottish name. So two brothers that settled in the 1800s in the hometown of Scotland. There was a church called St Mungo. And you also got Mungo McCullough. And this is what's also known as the Lunettes. The Lunar of the Moon. Okay. So we're going to walk from here, work out to that platform, off the platform onto the dunes and slowly work our way up. So you're going to get to see things that the general public don't get to see. There is no restrictions of photographs. If anything you see up here, as you say, take your photographs, leave your footprints behind. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and I'll try and answer the best as I can. Okay, it's unusual to see a large rock formation like this one here, one beyond the visitor centre. Now both of these rocks are actually bought in and they are from the local communities of this area. So this is a local sandstone from around Broken Hill, Wool, Kenya, Mudderwindy National Parks area. So this is from the Barkindji country from the west of here, and the one behind the visitor centre is the Silk Creek sandstone, and that comes around Cobar area, so from the east of here. This here is a memorial for young Leslie James Wyman Taylor, who was an Aboriginal guide for a local tour company called Harry Nunya Tours. They no longer exist, they've closed their doors. Now James is doing a sunset tour, so that's why I have the sunset down the bottom here. Okay. Now we just finished doing these two, we stepped off the dunes on that platform and had a major heart attack. Could not be revived, it was only 37 years of age. So the reason why this rock was chosen is because of that natural part of the rock there, that white section. So that there represents Mungo Lakes where we're standing. Up here where it's shaded away, well that represents the wall of China. The bird you see here is a wedge hole eagle, so that's from his father's country from the west of the sea, so the Barkindy country. Down the bottom there you've got a bilby, and that's from his mother's country from the east of the sea, so the Nyampa tribe. Mm. And the five hands you see here mm. are the five family members he left behind. Now if you come behind the rock we have some more at the back of here as well. Okay, so just here you can see two different colour hands. You've got the darker hand and the lighter hand. The darker hand is his mother's hand. And the lighter hand is the area manager of National Park and Wildlife Service of the Lower Darling area. They didn't shake hands, they just touched hands like a thank you for this memorial for her son. The Emi footprints you see here are James's footprints. Now it's the the sky looks over this place every day. Now this rock here, the one behind the visitor centre, if you've been to Mildura where the big Palestine scenery is, you might have seen a rock sculpturing there. Or if you've been to Broken Hill or you're thinking about going to Broken Hill to the sculpture park there, that was his very first attempt at rock sculpturing, and that was also a tribute to Fred Hollows. He's also got one at Mudderwindy National Parks, Township, Wall Kenya, Menindi, and also at the Canary Boys High School in Sydney. He's a well-respected well -respected Aboriginal elder, Barkindy elder, self-taught Aboriginal artist, and his name is Uncle Badger Bates.